Time now for a bright spot. I'm doing all right, getting good grades. The future's so bright. I gotta wear shades. Who's you a fan of Conan O'Brien? You know, I do enjoy, I yeah. used to enjoy watching him long, long ago. And then he became so much more political, like so many talk show hosts. But even night. so talk show host even so i think he was less political than colbert i think he was less political than uh jimmy kimmel i think he was cut more out of the i would say johnny carson claw right of late night talk show host and, and some of the ideas of what that is well he's now no longer doing talk show he just ended his talk show on uh, i guess it was on tnt uh he now has a podcast which is uh, conan o'brien needs a friend is the name of his podcast i think he's funny i do too uh his latest guests was Sean Penn. Now, this is the same Sean Penn who supports Venezuelan socialist dictator Maduro, right? And he used to be married to Madonna. Well, Let's yeah. Let's not forget that. Okay. I'm well, going way back. You are. Uh, he's the same Sean Penn who Did I go is... go over the border there? A little bit. Borderline. Borderline, yeah. He's the same Sean Penn who is far, far left even by Hollywood standards, okay? Same Sean Penn who played the first gay mayor of San Francisco, Harvey Milk, in the movie Milk. Mm-hmm. Sean Penn won an Oscar mm-hmm. for that, right? Remember sure, that? Sure, Okay, but in talking with Conan O'Brien, Sean Penn was thinking about that movie Milk... And he said this, you know, but today, the almost certainly I would not be uh, permitted to be cast in that role. We're, you know, we're, right. living, we're living in a time where if you're playing a gay a lead character, uh, you would have to be a gay man uh, or a trans character. Or, and there have been these 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 casting issues. And I, you know, it does go back to, again, some of what we were talking about earlier in terms of finding the balance when you have a period of evolution that that certainly has an opportunity for people who have less has had less opportunities to move forward. Mm-hmm. That has to be supported. And yet in this pendulum swing society that, that we're in, you wonder at some point if only Danish princes can play Hamlet. Right. Uh, it's, right. It, it's, it's, it is, I believe too restrictive. That's Sean Penn. He's saying what's going on in Hollywood now is too restrictive. They've gone too far to the nutty left for Sean Penn. Yeah, that's remarkable. I mean, that's absolutely remarkable. But he's he's echoing mm-hmm. what conservatives have said for a very long time. For a very long time. That liberals who, I mean, how can a liberal want to silence dissent? I mean. You're not a liberal. How can but, one be a liberal and yet not fully support the freedom of speech? You can't. You're a leftist. That's the thing. And see, that's what Sean Penn's problem is. He's been hanging around with leftists like Maduro. He's Maduro's certainly not a, a liberal, and yet Sean Penn was best friends with this dictator in Venezuela. And Sean Penn's going, I think we probably need more liberty in Hollywood now than we currently have. But By the way, he's also making a good point about how when you play people who aren't like you, you actually gain empathy for people like that. Take a listen. In place of creative energy, we're all sort of burdened with the energy and concern of optics. And it becomes kind of a broken record that really doesn't jive with us cellularly as people. It's about optics. It's not about good art. Right. It's about being politically correct. Which isn't about being actually correct. Now, he does go too far in this interview. He decides that maybe we should just let the craziness play out, that this craziness of cultural virtue signaling should just continue, and that maybe someday in the future, he or someone like him might be allowed to play a gay character, or even if he's not gay, or maybe he could play Hamlet even though he's not Danish. He's not willing to stand up and fight against what he knows is wrong, what he knows is illogical. And the reason he's not wanting to stand up is because a part of him has bought into it. You know what I think Sean Penn has realized? What's that? Is that when you start drawing lines around the freedom of speech, mm-hmm. where do you stop? I-, I hope he's learned that. And here's here's why I think this is a bright spot. Not because I care what Sean Penn thinks. But Sean Penn is way to the left, right? If Sean Penn starts to recognize how crazy the left has become, maybe the rest of America is too. That gives me hope. I think that's a bright spot. No, I, and I, I'm sure there's a lot of other celebrities just like him that are not willing or are unaf- or are afraid to, to speak, speak out. out.